Welcome back to Blake Explains. Hello, uh, welcome back here to another Blake Explains. We're talking about the idea of a remake of Dragon Quest IX. Uh, something I've been wanting for a very long time. And uh, what really inspired me after seeing the new Dragon Quest XI game. Uh, I'll be putting up some screenshots of that so just to see how beautiful that is. Uh, and mostly the 3DS game, because I, the original Dragon Quest IX game was on DS, and I would really like to see that remade for the new 3DS, specifically. I wouldn't mind so much a 3DS release, because they're doing a good job with the Dragon Quest XI game, but new 3DS, uh, there's not many games on it, and they, they, they hold a lot of potential. Yeah, um, Dragon Quest IX was, a great game that I loved very much when I was a kid and because I I remember I remember when I saw it before it came out because we were, we were at Walmart and um, there was this giant poster for it and it had the game below like a demo for it and it looked great and so me and Blake were like mom we need to get to this it's like okay not right now but so we just got these two pamphlets for it and we studied those pamphlets. We discussed about. It. We theorized the entire game. Yeah, we and did. What that was gonna be like, and we were so excited and couldn't wait for it. And then that Christmas we got it, and we were so happy. And that's literally all we did for like, I don't know, like six months. That was like the only game we played. Yeah, yeah. It 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 it's got a really good uh, story. I would, but like, I would like it improved so much upon because uh, I want to be able to create your own character. And I'll put some screenshots of the original game up here showing, like, the character creation and all that. Because that's what I, I loved about Dragon Quest IX, being myself and being able to customize. And even, you could even make your partners, which was the best part. Like, being able oh, to yeah. make your whole team. And I, I really want to see that redone. I would, okay, I'd either want a sequel to the game. Like, I don't know, like, kind of like what Final Fantasy does with, like, a Dragon Quest, like, 9-2 or something. And, like, make... 9.2. <laughs> uh, 9, or, like, yeah, like, 9.5 or something. And uh, making a s sequel to it, uh, or just completely remaking the game for 3DS. Because I love the game, but it became so outdated, the graphics became so outdated so fast because it was on DS. That, that, that wasn't really the problem for me. It was more that, like, because about a year ago, uh, me and Blake uh, both deleted our data and restarted. Oh, yeah. I've and, done that a couple times. <laughs> well, yeah. I, I, I that, that was the first time I'd done it. And I got about half, I got a little bit over halfway through the story, and I just kind of stopped playing it because, I mean, I mean, I already played a bunch through that, and I was kind of done playing the same story again with just the same stuff. And so, if they were to remake the game and just make it on new 3DS and make it beautiful and, like, 3D, I mean, I would totally play that again. It just kind of gets boring when you just see, like, a fight, and when it's just slash marks on the guy, and they kind of, like, shake. <laughs> I mean, that's not it's not terrible, but it was it was great whenever you're like ten years old and like oh my gosh, it's amazing. But that wasn't that wasn't it. Remember they did have the them showing. The oh, attack. that's true. I forgot about that. Yeah, because they actually have three D animations yeah, yeah, where they, they run they, up to them and attack them. Well, what they did was they had a very good system going. They the overworld sprites were very low res, and the characters in battle were a little bit better. But the pause screen models were the best. When you pause the screen, you could oh, look yeah. and you could equip the equipment. Oh yeah, and the best thing about the pause screen was how that um, you could drag on and drag off the armor, which was awesome. I loved that mechanic so much. Yeah, because you could. Yeah, and also, uh, if they were gonna make a new one, they could probably add more armor or even add an extra little storyline. The the thing mostly what I want, I I just like the whole, for the whole remake would be uh, to get the graphics of this new Dragon Quest XI game for this game. So, like, uh, I'll show you, there'll be screenshots of that now, of the Dragon Quest XI characters. So, uh, so is the, um, the, the, the screenshots, are they actually, is that the actual, what they look like on 3DS? Yes, basically to get you an idea of what it looks like for the uh, 3DS one, Brian, uh, I'll, I'll pull up some pictures here, but, like, they, uh, Basically, what it is is it's the the good models of the the pause screen. That's like the models walking around, though. But they're but they're even better than that. Yeah. So like they they, they those those models like I loved. <laughs> and so then then when you go into the battle mode, they're even better. Yeah. So like th that's and they also what they're doing 
Personally, I don't really uh, like too much the, uh, what they're doing with the bottom screen. I hope it's an option to turn it off because I just feel like there's so many more things you could do with the bottom screen. I forget, what was the bottom screen? Was it just a okay, map? For, no, for, yeah, for, for the Dragon Quest Nine, it was a map. But for the new Eleven game for 3DS, they have the whole game redone in like sprites on the bottom. So it looks like an NES game. I'll show that up on the I mean, screen, that, too. That, that's a cool mechanic if it was for Wii U. Like, that would be cool to have yeah. on the gamepad. Yeah. Be like, oh, I can look at this. But when it's a 3DS and you could use the bottom screen for way more stuff, like, that's just, I think it's dumb. Mm -hmm. uh, so they're, tr they're trying to well, be gimmicky. And it's, it's not, uh, it's not really a gimmick. Uh, I, I, I find it, it's, it, it's, it's, it can be cool. But to a certain point, like, if you're after a certain amount of time, I'm kind of like, well, I just kind of want to have a bottom screen with nothing on there, you know? With a map or just and, something um, useful. Yeah, and I, I'm sure, I'm sure they will not be dumb, and actually they would, um, do stuff with that, you know, and not just make it like that, you know what I mean? Yeah, um, so, what, but what I'd, even... Okay, even if they make a new Dragon Quest game, I don't even care really at this point if it was a remake. Uh, but if they if they were if they were gonna make a new one, I, if they if they literally just put character creation on the 3DS for a Dragon Quest game, uh, that would make me want to play it because it would almost just be a new story for me. And then, but if they did go back, I'd really want them to go in and just really just completely revise like the whole thing. I wouldn't want to be like an HD like, remaster, basically. I would want it to be made from the ground up for the 3DS, like I was saying, with the new graphics. And also, adding things like uh, Wi-Fi connectivity, so you could play online with each other. Oh, yeah, you couldn't do that. You had to, you, you had to play local, you had to play local, and the, the internet shop, there was an internet shop where you can get special things every weekend. They need to make that. They need to really make that better. They, yeah, if they just need to update that, make that s system so it was good. Uh, they there's just so many things that would just really fit it well. Street pass, so you could you could get uh, people instead of when instead of getting people that when you play with them, if you street pass them, they'd come into your inn, and then you could see them and get to talk to them. Yeah, instead of them actually coming to your world. Yeah, yeah. So like, I really also um, one thing I I I know that I know they'll do. It's making the animations, like, they were great. I loved them when I was 10 years old, but, like, kind of watching them now, I see, like, the flaws, mm -hmm. and I wish they could do it better. Like, say, whenever you would, um, because I, I, I love I love how they use the words. Like, it was say, like, like hold on, hold on. They, they, they would have, like, words talking about, like, open up your world and, like, or open up your portal so that way people could come over. They're not, like, turn on your DS or mm -hmm. turn on your DS Wi-Fi. Like, that, that was dumb. I like they actually use words like that, and then whenever, like, the first time we did it, because it took you a while, because you had to get through the story, and you had to get to the end, and you had to do some story missions at that, like, mm -hmm. place, and then you could have people come over, and, um, for a while, me, like, me, me and you were so worried that we just weren't going to be able to play together, mm -hmm. and, like, but, and then the first time we did, like, I went over to your world, and, like, it just, like, does, like, that cool flash, and I just walk in through, like, this portal opens in your world, and there's, like, a cinematic screen, and I just walk through it, my character. It was so amazing. <laughs> we were, like, freaking out. It was so great. Uh, yeah, the, 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 a lot of the things, just, literally, this game is such a well-crafted game, and, like, so well-made, that it, like, just seeing, and it would, could also bring a lot of new uh, people to, like, uh, playing this, and... Now I know Dragon Quest is known for, uh, and I and I really wouldn't care if they did this, but a possibility of having um, of the what am I trying to say here? Um, a remake where it could be an open world with kind of like fantasy life, where you actually use your attacks. But I don't know how you would do that with a party system. So I feel like they should just stay with the um, the regular one, just the regular turn-based combat i mean i i like the turn-based combat but i, I don't know because i i really liked the game how it was like i wouldn't really want to change it because it, I mean, it was great and i mean if we're like talking about um wait what was, it, what was the other game called again i forgot 11 no no, no. what you were just talking about nine no what the other game uh fantasy life yeah, fantasy life okay that game um oh gosh uh fa fa fantasy life that game is amazing, and it's basically like if you want to, if you were like waiting for this game, it's basically if it's basically like um like a re it's, it's almost like a sequel to um Dragon Quest Nine, I would say, because it's made by the same people as so we were Square Enix, and it's great. I love it. 
and it just like it just because you can make your own character. Yeah, you can yeah. Make, you can do your own classes. It's not made by Square Enix. Kind of it's, it's made by. Oh, oh, it's made by um. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. I, it's just not made by Square Enix. Yeah, it was made by. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm wrong, wrong company. I'm talking. It's about. It was made by Level Five. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, Level Five. Sorry. Level Five did work on Dragon Quest Nine though. So that's why I was that's why I was really excited for Fantasy Life because they did work on Dragon Quest Nine. Um, yeah, and, and I think I, oh if yeah you should definitely go play that game because that game is great. Okay. Uh, and so the one thing that the new Dragon Quest game did was make it to where you can actually walk around and see everything from every angle, and you. The only time you ever saw, like, something from a different angle in the Dragon Quest Nine game was when you first entered a town. It would show from a top view, and it would kind of circle around, and you would kind of see what the place looked like. Uh, personally, I would like it much better if they just instead uh, made it to where it was, like, almost uh, first person, but third. it was third person where you can completely control your camera. Uh, and if they made it like that, then you, it would be just like, it would be come, you would see everything from a whole different angle and everything would look so much uh, more, you can see everything from like detailed and in the 11 game, they still have that top down look, but they kind of like switch to it. Like when you walk, there's like no loading screens because like, except when you're like leaving towns and things. So like when you go into a town and you walk into a building, the, the roof just disappears and you can just see the people inside of there. And I, I don't and, like that at all. Well, it's interesting. Uh, I hate those types of games. Hold on, let me just real quick. Um, good one's not time, but like, um, my what? One of my other like, I have a lot of favorite things about Dragon Quest Nine. But one of my favorite things is how that whenever you would leave a town or yeah, a town, you would um, you would go into a really big map basically, and you'd walk on the map. But it didn't look like a map. It looked like, it looked like a whole um, yeah, I see it. And it looked like a whole, like, place, like a whole, just, I don't know how to describe it, but it was, it was like you were walking around, like, a, um, a plane kind of thing, but it still had all, like, the, um, formations and everything looked like it was supposed to, but it was just kind of, like, smaller, like, like, the town looked really small, but you could still, you'd walk into it and it got big, like, an actual town. And that was just, yeah. You're I saying just okay. That yeah, they they That's have that. They, it, I'm sorry. They kind of have that. They, yeah, they kind of have that retrospect here, where it, when they walk outside, the town isn't huge, but like uh, like it's not the actual size of the town. It's not like a full on open world game. You do walk it like you'll see here when he walks out. You'll see it's not the actual size. Like yeah, because we're actually watching the video right now, and I don't know. This is this is bothering me. I do not like the bottom like eight bit. Well, it, and the thing it just, is, it ruins the game no, for me because, like, I mean, I I'm, I love the top how it has like all the 3D and looks great and it has great graphics, but then like, what's the point of that when you just have the bottom as? Well, the thing is, the how how they uh, they do it is um the 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 reason they do that is for older audiences will enjoy that. Like, they, they, when they played the original games, and I, I, at points I'll be like, yeah, I like this, this is cool, but I don't want, I want, I don't want this, the whole game at the bottom. Well, they should do, okay, okay, um, they should do, like, what, ha like, what Halo, um, uh, Generations did? I think it's called Generations, right? Where you could switch between. Yeah, yeah, you, you pr you'd plus something. It's not Generations. Yeah, I know. Sorry. It's the Halo remastered. He's talking yeah. about the original, uh, they re they remade the original game with gr brand new graphics for the Xbox 360, uh, then ported onto the Xbox One. Uh, was able to. It's actually like they ported the they they, they ported, ported the Xbox 360 version of the remastered onto the Xbox One. Yeah, I know. It's crazy. Uh, so we had a, like a three little generation thing there. Uh, so we, what you could do is you could literally just press a button and you could change into the old graphics. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure it was um the options button or select button. Here. It was a select button, and uh, it was a back button. That's what it was. It's called back on the Xbox controller, which is yeah. dumb, but yeah. Uh, yeah, we play a lot of Nintendo systems, so they have yeah. the start selects. Uh, so what, what would happen, uh, I think would they, that would be really, I, they said there's going to be options to change. So like right here, they have a battle system where you can go to the old battle system where it just shows the slashes and the, the stagnant, um, creatures just standing there, or you can have the 3d models that are like running around and hitting each other. Yeah. They can do that. Like they can do, um, so I think, cause like, yeah, hold on. Well, well, well like, they, I think they, what they'll do is they'll end up just uh, having an option to have the bottom screen on. Well, cause remember in uh, Dragon Quest nine, they didn't use the options button. It was the exact same as the start button. Mm -hmm. 
And so they could just do that. Like, this have the option button, change it to the other. Oh, that's that one girl. Wait, is she familiar with this? This is, this is a new game. Well, she looks kind of like uh, the one She looks girl. like Patty. That, all the yeah. M-Capers kind of have that look. Oh. And, um, so... What... So really, like, let's just pull this together now. Um, what... What... What what we want, what I want, and and I think I was just kind of speaking for Brian here, but uh, what we want would be a Dragon Quest Nine game where it has the graphics of Eleven and the uh, with the uh, ability to look around uh, in a, a third person space where you can actually like look up and see the sky and see the tops of buildings and walk up to a person's face, you know. So like you 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 would it see all. It doesn't mean have to be Dragon Quest Nine again. It could be like Dragon Quest yeah. Twelve, but just the same thing as Dragon Quest Nine. Or where... even just a like I said, like a side spinoff. It doesn't even have to be a main series game. <laughs> it should be a main series game. I, but d d no, the thing is, that's the problem with that is Dragon Quest Eleven's being made, and that's gonna be a while. Uh, it, that, Dragon Quest 12 will be way off, and that'll be, like, way down the PS4's timeline and, like, all that. So, I think they should really just make a spin-off of Wait, so is this not going to, uh, Wii U? Uh, no. Th no, definitely, this is definitely not going to Wii U. They announced for NX, though. They did. They, uh, they said possible NX release. <laughs> but it's pretty much confirmed for NX. If you don't know what NX says, it's the new system for Nintendo. Yeah, it's the new system for Nintendo. Uh, most people at this point would know what it is. But yeah, uh, thank you for watching this episode of uh, Blake Explains. And uh, if you want to see some other uh, episodes on things, I've done some uh, other things like Kingdom Hearts and uh, Final Fantasies, which is kind of related to Dragon Quest. I did a cloud uh, reaction to that. Uh, and also, if I do a little thing called Beast Brains. Uh, so you should go watch some episodes of that. Uh, we might be doing a Dragon Quest Nine playthrough soon, so uh, that'll be fun. Uh, yeah, and uh, go ahead and subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this, and uh, go follow me on Twitter and all that to get the latest news of when everything's coming out. Uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, see you guys see on another video. Goodbye.